I'm saying, is there anything that your kids could ever do, including not loving you back, that would be justification that would you ever lock them in the basement and torture them? And neither would the Lord. No. He does according to your theology. And I'll say that not only am I morally superior to God, but you are as well, because you're a decent human being. Most of us are. Yes, and, and I agree with you. Why is I that? Totally, I totally agree with so, you in that and, aspect that you're and, a decent human being. And, and, a, and, and yet you think that I'm going to hell. No, don't I don't. You? you don't think I'm going to hell? Why not? I, I, what I think is it's not my judgment on you to make that determination. Do you, I don't know do you, you think, mean. okay, do you think only, there, only, hang only on, the I got you, God I understand that, that. I, under, I understand your theology that only God can judge. Do you think there's a hell? Yes. Do you think that based on the biblical, uh, or based on your theology, that God is going to send me to that hell? I don't know. I can't oh, make uh, that judgment. Yes, yes, Does he you send can. anybody there? Does he send, does he send that, do you think God sends anybody there? Yes, he does. Do you think that apostasy is the one unforgivable sin that God is certain to send you to hell for? I, I, think, I think not accepting the, uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the one uh, unpardonable uh, sin, and you have that okay. opportunity. I, I understand. I understand. Don't you don't have to put a qualifier on it. So you believe there's a hell. You believe your God sends people to hell. You believe that one of the criteria for God sending people to hell is not accepting Jesus as their Savior, correct? So if I tell you that I do not accept Jesus as my Savior, then clearly you believe that I'm going to hell. But if I died this second, would I go to hell? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what I think. Yes, I'm it does. Yes, idiot yes. No, it does matter what you think. Please. No, just, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. Would you let me finish, please? Okay. Based on all of that, if I died right now, you think that I'm going to hell. The question is, do you think I deserve it for that? I think only God can I, make that Oh, judgment. God, you're done. Go away. If you can't think for yourself, no wonder you believe in a God. If you are so unwilling, that, that tells me everything I need to know. That right inside of you, right now, dealing with those difficult questions, there is a moral struggle where you're beginning to realize that you are more moral than the God that they've forced you to believe, that they've conned you into accepting. You don't believe that I necessarily deserve to go to hell for exercising the quote-unquote free will that you think your God gave me. You don't think that the dictates of a conscience, whether or not somebody believes, is a sufficient justification for eternal torture, and yet you're just too damn cowardly to say it. You are better than your God. You are better than your religion. So am I. So is Don. So is damn near everybody on the planet. I wish you people would wake up and see this. Stop apologizing for this. It's not the good book. There's nothing good about it. All it does is poison minds. All it does is make you sacrifice your humanity. The only thing that you have that is of any value in order to sit around in deference to, to your gods. While Don was talking, I reject the notion of sin, and you talked about whether or not I'm more moral. I made a list of things that I might consider sins if the concept of sin were valid. Number one, credulity, gullibility. Um, I'd say that's a sin. Voluntary willful, willful ignorance, I'd say that's a sin. Letting fear prevent you from understanding reality, I'd, I'd call that a sin. Limiting the rights and freedoms of others in order to make them abide by your standards, that's a sin. Sacrificing the mental, emotional, and physical well-being of a child in deference to your religion, that's a sin. Wasting the one and only life that you know you're going to have Worrying about and working for an afterlife that somebody told you might be there, that's a sin. And it's a shame that so many people are so sucked into this religious thing that even when you lead them down the path step by step, as soon as they get to the point where they'd have to admit that, yes, when I think about it, that is an immoral thing, they instead have to add 20 qualifiers and buts and maybes to their answer, just like you did. Your God is, isn't real. He's not moral. The Bible isn't moral. Islam isn't moral. None of these religious systems, anything that, that deteriorates the value of human beings, anything that hangs on to Bronze Age ideals about genocide and slavery and murder and deference to, to higher powers, none of those things are moral. We've graduated beyond that, and I'm sorry that we've had to drag religions kicking and screaming in the 21st century, but some of you've got to let this stuff go.